Okay, welcome to the second series of video tutorials for GameFrame, which is your Python uh, coding experience where you learn how to build games in Python uh, using GameFrame, which was put together by Stephen Tucker. So, uh, what we're going to be doing today, if you haven't used uh, this particular platform before, we're going to be using GameFrame. So, I'm going to just open up a couple of things here. So, the quickest and easiest way to be able to get into GameFrame and to download the GameFrame resources uh, is to come to Stephen's or Mr. Tucker's uh, GitHub here. So, github.com slash Tuckster. Okay, and normally you would land on this page here with the open view, but we want to come to the repositories. From there, you can find Joe's Escape, which is the game we're going to be building in this series of videos. And then from there, you can come across to clone or download and then hit the zip file. Okay, now the reason that it was a good place to come and get it from here is because if we go into the images folder, you can see there's already a boatload of images there ready to go. Now, I'm going to be building it like I was from the Department of Education and Training's eLearn platform. So when I come into eLearn, I can click on GameFrame here, and then I can go to um, GameFrame and then download the GameFrame zip, which I've already got sitting on my desktop ready to go. But more specifically, you'll be able to find your tutorial document, and from there, you can find all of the images in here ready to go. So for those, you can see that I've already pre-downloaded those images. I've already pre-downloaded this uh, file here. So the first thing I need to do is extract that. So I'm going to right click on it and then say extract all. Now one of the steps that you're going to need to do is you are going to need to delete this bit of text here that says game frame one. Okay and it's super important to do that because game frame will then be set up uh, in PyCharm in the topmost folder in your project. Okay whereas if you leave that in there um, that won't be the case which would mean some of the links will be a bit dead and you will get some unexpected errors so super important that you delete game frame one out of there when you hit extract okay that's going to then create us this little folder here which when we double click to open it will open up all of our game frame resources directly so from here what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to right click on that straight away and say rename and i'm going to rename my folder ESCAP, Joe's Escape, okay, which is now ready to be imported in PyCharm. Okay, now the editor that I'm choosing to use in this particular uh, video series is called PyCharm. So if you go to Google and type in PyCharm download, you'll be able to find it here on the JetBrains website. Um, when you click into that one there, there are two options. So you can get a professional version, which you've got to pay for. But as people who are learning to code Python, we can get the community version here, which is free, okay. Um, and awesome. So if you uh, give that button there a bit of a tickle, it will send you straight to the place where you're able to then grab PyCharm. So I'm just going to open up PyCharm. I've got multiple screens, so you're not going to see it actually open. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go new project. Okay, it's going to ask where is it that you want to open that from. So I'm going to come into here and I'm going to select my desktop select Joe's Escape, which we can see is the right place. So Joe's Escape, awesome. And one last thing that I want to bring your attention to is if you just open this menu here, some people might find that theirs tries to open by default with a virtual environment. Now we don't want that because then you're going to have to go and try and find your Python interpreter each time. What we should do is try and come down to here where it says existing interpreter, and hopefully you should be able to find Python 3.7, 3.8. So if you've got your existing interpreter ready, you can hit create. It'll give you this little warning here that says that the folder is not empty. Do you want to keep going? That's okay, we do. And then I'm going to open this in a new window. So that's that one there, ready to go. So when we twirl down the folders here, you can see that we have a game frame folder. Okay, this has got all of the base information sitting there ready to go. Uh, you don't need to edit any of those files apart from the globals file, okay, which we'll get to in the next video. Um, you'll also see that we then have an empty images folder, which is not ideal. So what we're going to do to fix that is we are going to get rid of that one. We can open up images here. Okay, we're going to highlight all of those. Right click, copy. Okay, I'm going to jump into my Joe's Escape folder. Come into my images folder and paste those in. Okay, now that I have all of my images ready to go, if I come back into PyCharm, you'll see that it automatically opens up all of those PNG files that we're going to use as resources. 
Okay. So the game frame folder we don't change apart from the globals file, the images folder. Now that we've got our images there, we actually don't need to do anything with that ever. Our objects file is where we're going to do a lot of our coding because we're going to create objects for each of our individual things, like our uh, like our blocks and our character and our enemies, our monsters and things like that. So they're all going to be done in the objects folder. We're going to do a little bit of work in the rooms folder where we are going to be editing our room, which is our level. And there's no sound effects in this particular game, so we're not going to do anything there. The last folder, a last file, sorry, that I need to bring your attention to is this one here that says maincontroller.py. Okay, that is the thing that runs our game. Okay, so whenever we're going to run it, basically what we're looking to do is we're going to come up to here where it says run. We're going to hit run while we're on our main controller. It's going to say, what do you want to run? Let's pick main controller here. And it's going to try and run Pi game and it's going to bring up an error. And the main reason for that is because we haven't changed any of our global variables yet. Okay, so that's where I'm going to pause it right here for this particular video. Close down that little error message and we're going to leave the screen sitting right there in PyCharm ready to go and then we're going to do all of our coding for Joe's Escape from the next video onwards.